Hey everyone, Andrew here with ACR Protect. Thanks for stopping by. Well, it's Friday night. It's been a damn long week. Um, I was actually supposed to be off the first three days of the week and I was not. I worked, so uh, it kind of pours a little salt in that wound for uh, for trying to have a short week. It, it was not, it was, it was absolutely everything other than that so i figure it's friday night it is uh, kind of windy it's the if the wind is uh affecting the video i apologize uh i am hoping that it maybe brings in some rain we'll see i'm not holding my breath i don't see a cloud in the goddamn sky so let's get to the cocktail hour uh got a different one here tonight um those of you who uh, have not heard of uh, DJ the Metalhead Mercenary, awesome channel. I've talked about him before. He did a did a, a pretty fun Q and A uh, response the other day, and uh, yeah, I shot him some questions. You know, that this uh, it's always good to to have some engagement with with others, and uh, he uh, he had some good responses to my questions. I thought that was fun, and uh, any any you know. On the video, he said, hey, you should have a, a good drink for me. And I'm fucking gonna. I'm fucking gonna. I think he's gonna approve of this, too. We are doing some mead tonight. All right. Thorin's Viking Mead. I know the lighting's shitty out here tonight, folks. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep the mosquitoes back. So this comes in at 12.9. Pretty good, pretty good for me. Not as good as the, uh, like that Odin Skull and Vikings blood that I had been having. That, that shit's 19 and I, I haven't found anything like that. But uh, see if I can read this. Crafted using old world technique, this drink is sure to delight even the most discriminative Viking. Interesting. We hope you enjoy this bottle and our other fine handcrafted meads and ciders. Interesting. This is out of Page, Texas. That's cool. This is, uh, I just picked this up today uh, at Specs. You know I go to Specs. Page, Texas. That is out off 290. Highway 290 heading towards Austin. It's uh, a little more than halfway out there. It's kind of out there by uh, uh, Bastrop and you know, you know the area. The area is actually like that—the alleged area for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So maybe, maybe, maybe he made this. I don't know. I'm sorry, my my crazy dog is down here bumping me. She's trying to get me to play play ball tonight, where you can't see shit, and we're not doing that. So I'm sure she's pissed. So she's gonna move stuff around. Ooh, not not a sound. I just cracked that. Not a sound on this one. I don't know how, how much is in here. Let's see, it's uh, it's probably a seven, 750 milliliters. All right, I do have my special glass so we can take a look. Again, for those of you who don't know, mead is like a honey wine. One of the oldest drinks ever. Sorry, not holding that up enough. Very fond of the Vikings, Norse people. Hence the badass Viking on the front there. It smells good. Let's get a better, better whiff. And, oh, I can definitely smell that. Let's see. Let's... Smells like mead. All right, everyone. Cheers. <clears throat> yeah, we've got boys walking around in the background there. All right, backlit. Cheers. My best to you and your families. Let's uh, let's have a drink. That's good. That's really good. Stel, why don't you pick a fucking spot there, sister? All right. <clears throat> um, very crisp. Um, it doesn't have, it's not bad. I, I don't want anyone to think that it's bad. It just does not have all the complex flavors that other one has. It's not a bad thing. It's just, just clean. Let's see. Yeah, 
just a clean, clean meat. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Good color to it, kind of that honey hue. It's made with honey. It's uh, it's not overly sweet, which is nice. Sometimes these uh, these meads are really sweet. This is this is really good here. Yeah, if you have not if you have not had mead, you're missing out. You need to get it, and unless you're allergic to honey or something, you should absolutely get some mead. I'm trying to see if there's any any special ingredients on here. There's uh, there's not, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I'll be uh, sipping on this tonight. Maybe see if the missus joins me for a drink. If not, I have no problem finishing this off by myself. How I roll. So, well, it shouldn't just be all boring booze talk. Um, got a video coming this weekend. Um, should be pretty fun, kind of cool. Um, look forward to doing that. I'm not going to give any spoilers. Just just be on the lookout for it. It'll be uh, be a good video. Um, I'm hoping. We have some some nice weather and uh, try to do some canoeing this weekend as well get Get one of my boys out and go uh, go hit some islands. Yeah, there's there's my oldest Making a cameo appearance Kid's big. He's, he's getting up on my height 13 years old grown-ass man sounds like grown-ass man in my house here, but uh, That's all I got tonight folks. It's like I said Friday uh, I, I am sweating. It is it is hot. It's still been hot as shit uh, every day this week, but I'm enjoying the breeze. That is that is helping. So that's it, folks. Short video. Get another look at this bottle. So you guys can uh, can hopefully go pick some up. If you're here in Texas, you should be able to get it. Thorin's Viking Mead. I'll link the description. Or, uh, I'm an idiot. I'll put a link in the description. Man, this stuff's hitting harder than I thought. Uh, but yeah, check it out. If you can find me, get it. Oh, there's Stell. Hey, baby. She's out here running around, getting into stuff. So, here we go. I keep saying goodbye. I can't fucking hang up the phone. I'm like the goddamn cable guy. So, cheers to you and your families. Happy Friday. Hope you have a great weekend. And we will catch you later. Take care.